Ember Lab, we're kind of a boutique agency. Um, we got our start in visual effects and animation. It's kind of where the studio kind of grew up. And from there, we transitioned into advertising work for major brands doing a lot of branded content. And so we always try to bring our film background to all the projects that we work on, trying to really make an immersive, um, engaging experience for all the products that we're trying to help market. And so when we got approached to do the Majestic project, we really tried to kind of make a film the core of the campaign. Something that was very engaging, really uh, showcased the product in a, in a nice light. And then we could use that core film asset to kind of create a lot of different avenues for different channels, whether it be online or in stadium, point of purchase and things like that. The goal was always to showcase the different types of colors you can get as, as a fan. And we really wanted to create a look that could kind of accentuate as well as bring the jerseys to life a little bit. So what we've coined the term is, is the color mist that comes off each of the jerseys. We really wanted to kind of integrate the strong, bold colors of the, of the, of the team and bring that to life, give it a little bit of a, a personality of its own. The color mist effect is an augmentation of the baseball play. We'll have the actual animation of the player and the jersey actually emitting a fume simulation that's based on real physics, an organic stream of essentially smoke coming off the jersey. And we just converted that to particles, inheriting the color from the jersey itself. So we thought it was a nice, elegant way to show off the jersey colors and also, at the same time, accentuate the athleticism of baseball. We did have to cater the simulations to each individual player. There was everyone's personality, but also the actual athleticism and physics of each play are uh, basically different. Uh, when someone was batting, we'd have to exaggerate the and emphasize the power from the swing of the bat. Whereas someone like Altuve, it's really about the speed and how quickly he gets from first base to second base. We were trying our best to push everything and make it more stylized and larger than life. And specifically when we were working with Jose Altuve's animation, we found ourselves going back and forth and keep thinking to ourselves, we gotta go faster, we gotta go faster. <laughs> and the project presented a lot of technical challenges. Um, because we were trying to capture the authenticity of baseball, but also make it stylized, we had to really kind of find that, that balance between photorealism and stylized animation. We didn't use any scans, so everything was modeled by hand. And we used a program called ZBrush, which is basically like a, a digital sculpting tool. It's very similar to sculpting with clay, so once you start you know, building the structures, you can manipulate them in kind of a more traditional manner than a technical manner. So we took photo reference of the players when we shot with them at spring training, and we used it as a guide to sculpt 3D likeness. We started off thinking that we weren't gonna do any sort of color on the actual skin tones, and it was gonna be only color from the jersey. We went in that direction for a little while, and then we decided to shift directions and make it more authentic and make sure that people could completely recognize who the player was. And so once we went in that direction, it opened up a Pandora's box of challenges because then the skin tones gotta be right, the kind of features on the face have to be right. If he has any freckling or, or unique kind of features, when they're not there, you kind of immediately notice that, and you kind of disconnect from the player. So it, it allowed us to achieve a level of photorealism that's great, but also presented a lot more work in the process. We, we did all hand animation on this, so keyframe animation for all, all the, the plays that you see in the commercial. And the idea was that you know, we would reference uh, some of the amazing uh, athletic feats that these guys would do in, in, this, in their games. We went to clips, you know, uh, tried to kind of get inside the technique, that the different running styles, different batting styles, really observing how each player moved and trying to kind of capture that when we brought them to life. When we were filming the guys, we had, you know, for a couple of them, we had uh, Chris Bryant in particular, we had his animation pretty much locked in and, and done. So before we started filming, we kind of gave them kind of the lay of the land. This is how you're going to look. And I think they're all really, you know, pleasantly surprised. They, they thought it was pretty cool. And, you know, even showing Chris Bryant's animation to some of the other players was like, oh, well, I need something better than that. You know, make sure I look cooler than Chris, that kind of stuff. So it was a lot of fun. Um, kind of giving him a little bit of insight about what we're trying to do and seeing their reaction. It was a lot of fun. It all starts with a player in the locker room. The Majestic brand gives you that access to that player because he's wearing it on the field. And so the idea is that the jersey connects you to the player and when you take that jersey home with you, you're kind of bringing a little bit of the essence of the game with you. Not only are you supporting your team, but you've kind of captured the essence of baseball in that, in that jersey as well. Majestic, the official uniform of Major League Baseball.